things really burn my butt. The implication that I'm sesquipedalian and that fire drake nesting under my porch swing. Both of which I will confront to spell sesquipedalian for these jokers. Join me if you dare. S E S Q U I P E D A L I A N. Let's look at the components. Meaning one and a half. Like sesquicentennial. One and a half centennials. 150 years. The United States recently celebrated its sesquicentennial in Philadelphia. Here's a picture of me pretending to ring the Liberty Bell. <laughs> Meaning of the foot. Like pedals go on bikes or bipeds go on two feet. Like chickens and peoples and... <laughs> which is a kind of person or a way of being. Which reminds me of the time in my youth when I walked the world asking each kind of people to tell me the word that they used for themselves. A man of the land of Pedalia replied, we are the Pedalians, the people with feet. And I said, but people all over the world have feet. Even I have feet. And the man said, you call those feet? Where was I? Sesquipedalian. Ah, thank you, Fire Drake, under my porch. Sesquipedalian. Anyone can put their foot in their mouth. But it takes a finer sort of buffoon to put a foot and a half in there, using a bunch of oversized words when smaller ones would be better. I myself would never use a dollar word when a nickel would do ya. You don't think you're sesquipedalian? Certainly not. A spellcaster uses precisely the words required and never a syllable more. Remember when that actor said, how come every time I get a script from you, I have to learn a new word? That was a compliment. Wasn't. Look, it's like that old stand-up comedian said. One with the cigar, Mark Twain. He said, the difference between the almost right word and the right word is really a large matter. It's the difference between the lightning bug and the lightning. And I'll add, the difference between the fire fly and the fire drake. You could've just called me a dragon. Is that what you are, though? No. So is it really the best word? No. No, you're better than a dragon. Stand up for yourself, Fire Drake, under my porch. And you, give me your word. No word. And also, no word. take care of your feet. They're very important. They keep your shoes attached to your body. I will spell them out.